I will see a breaking news, sir. A barber to a jar and they say a yeni per could be actual letter. Eddie Aqua, comma, Africa fan zone organizers. I say a fee a year Olympic Games, sir. A beck or so. I will Paris, no, a musician, sir. A beck or horn, no, my quack or perform, no. Uncle Bay Uncle Muni, sir, could ye and film. Now, there be in a bay and tea, I must send a per could ye actual letter, Eddie Aqua, comma, penny free. Any a busy black rasta, etty as summon or one man, so one more. What to be Uncle Sir Eddie, a man, sir, could ye, a tree, any moon, you know, so Eddie, a tree, and young co, na young could ye be. Several months ago, and I went deeper and said that we need some of these measures to be able to make some of our so called celebrities responsible. Today, Kanye West is suffering all because of a certain decision he decided to take anti Semitism. Shabaranks went through the same thing. When he granted an interview, and in that interview, he visited gay people with hate, as he said that they would have to be shot and killed one after the other in that interview. I am sure that given the chance again, he would not go directly like that. He would be a little smarter with that. But it changed his musical life permanently. My brother, my sister, as the Bible says, a soft response repels bitterness and rancor. But a hard one, a bitter one, would make sure that bitterness and rancor would come your way. My brother, my sister, now I am reading this from City Newsroom. It's one of the most authentic sources of news online. It says, Paris 2024. Group petitions Africa Fan Zone organizers to exclude Sarko Deer from performing. Did I give a prophecy? Was it prophetic? You want to hear it again? Paris 2024. Group petitions Africa Fan Zone organizers to exclude Sarko Deer from performing. And this was published on July 25, only yesterday. And I read it. A human rights organization, New Ghana Social Justice Forum, has petitioned the French National Olympic and Sports Committee and organizers of the Africa Fan Zone event to exclude rapper Sarkodie from its list of performers. Sarkodie has been scheduled to perform on August 9 at the Africa Zone, Africa Fan Zone, or Station Station Afrique, at Stade Robert Caesar in France. Now, the Africa Fan Zone is an independent cultural event happening at the same time as the Olympic Games. However, the new Ghana Social Justice Forum contends that the artist is misogynic. You know what that means? Now, the group associates its claim to a line of the song, Jennifer Lometi, which Sir Kodie was featured on by Kel Songs. Now, the rapper in the song spoke about Krobo Ladies and acts of promiscuity, reiterating a known folklore about young ladies from Krobo. He said, Krobo ni ba papa a ahunye da nase nisisi konfo anochi de e jamai abonudria to wit, a beautiful Krobo lady with bees on her waist. She has been cursed with promiscuity by Okonfu Anoche. These words are what the new Ghana Social Justice Forum believes and compass the misogynic nature of the rapper and wants him barred from performing at the Africa Fan Zone. Amongst other reasons, the group also cited his recent turmoil with actress Yvonne Nelson, who claimed in her memoir, I am not Yvonne Nelson, that the rapper forced her to abort a baby after he impregnated her. Well, well, well. I want to applaud this group. If I knew where their officers were, I would go there with a big keg of palm wine to say thank you. We need some of these things to make some of our people a little smarter and wiser. 
When you are a role model, you know what that means? It means that there are so many people you might not even know who take a step because you have taken a step or you have asked them to take a step. In this country, we have no respect, my brother, my sister, or the common sense of not stepping outside our bounds. It's sad. Now, when you go to the West, musicians are very careful what they put out. If their lyrics are laced with profanity, they would have to say that so that many people would stay away from that. People who love profanity would go listen to this. Not in our society. Everything goes. Pass me the duchy. Hey, hey, hey. Pass me the duchy. Wine upon the cocky. And they are playing it all over on radio. You know what that means? Pass me the duchy. Young girl, wine on the cocky. It's playing all over. My brother, my sister. If I want to listen to profanity, no problem, I might play it because it's a beautiful song, I love it. But I do not want to be driving with my children in a car. And I hear young girl, wine panda cocky. Mmm, wine panda cocky. You know what that means? My brother, my sister, I wouldn't want to moralize it on anybody. I have songs that are also X-rated, but I make sure that they are labeled good. They have lyrics that are X-rated. My brother, my sister, today as it stands, the group is saying, Sakodie must step aside. This will teach a lot of us to be very careful how we speak. Sakodie exhibited a lot of arrogance. And when I speak like this, then people will send me messages. Sometimes they call me, oh, do you have a problem with Sakodie? You see how daft some of us can be. You cannot criticize a man if you don't have a problem with that person. People will start asking you, oh, why? You envy Sarkodie, or you hate Sarkodie, or you hate Mr. X, or you dislike Mr. X. That's why you are criticizing. You know what it means to criticize? I don't see people who critique me as my enemies. I see them giving me free feedback, free consultancy, so I can get better. Not in our society. That is why our politics is so dirty. You can't belong to a political party and criti critique it. No, then you are an enemy. You have to be kicked out. So you have to go hook, line, and sinker with whatever rot is going on in your political party to protect your food. How can we grow as a nation like this? Some of these rappers and musicians... All across Africa, when they start making some little money, they think they are demigods. They are teen gods, and they have to be worshipped. Even Nelson wrote a beautiful book that you impregnated her. She got pregnant, and then you pushed her to go for an abortion. You drove her all the way to the abortion clinic, left her there to her fate. She had the abortion. You didn't even care to call and find out how it went after begging her and pushing her to have the abortion. Several days went by. Several weeks went by. You never called to find out, oh, how did it go? Are you okay? Can I buy you this? Can I go get you this from the shop? No, you didn't care. And when she finally put it out in a book, you have the arrogance, the temerity to release a certain trash called a song called Try Me calling her a call girl, a street girl. This group should have done this earlier. My brother, my sister, let's think about it very seriously. We need to check some of these things or else, at the end of the day, my brother, my sister, we would only be degrading ourselves and each other. Let's suck on their face the music. Let other artists who have gone down that line also go through it. Nobody is bigger than the truth. I leave it here. Chemical TV. Yeah. Chemical TV. Anything goes. Ah.